Welcome to the Akron, Daddy. Pecan finding show. Yeah, kids, we're like here this. in Texas, like and this, like it's this, just like about pecan. Like let me this. see. Yes, like that one. But let me show you. We're here in Texas, kids. I'm going to explain to the kids where we are and what we're doing exactly. We're here in Texas, and it's just about pecan season. And pecans are really good nuts. And they, they grow in trees here naturally in Texas. And so we're here at a park that was designated by the government and and there's lots of pecans that are falling from the trees and we're gonna find them and show you guys how to break them open and see if there's good stuff on the inside. So let's check it out. See, now the ones you want to find, Axel, are the ones where the where the peeling is just falling off like that. Where the shell is just falling off. Or the coating around the shell. And we're gonna stuff them in this bag. So when you get a good one, we'll stuff them in this bag. Yes, like that one. That's a very small one, but it can still have some good stuff in it. So let's put it in there. Yeah. That's a little baby pecan. Oh. It's okay. All right. Let's see. Here's one too, right here. Nice. But look. How many pecans? Here's one too that's starting yeah. to come Yeah. Uh huh. That's good enough. We'll put all these in here. Now sometimes the ones that are on the ground. Um, they've been there for a long time and they aren't good anymore. Um, so maybe we can find some uh, that, that look like they're, they're freshly fallen. Maybe they're still attached to a branch or something. Ah, here's one. See that one? Mm -hmm. Look kids, see that one right there? That one looks like it might be good because it has a little bit more of a golden color on the outside. When you get that darker color, that means that it's been sitting there for a while. Alright, let's see. Oh, here's one right here. Now kids, see this one right here? This one is a green one, and it's really, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not peeling off uh, very easily, right? You have to kind of tear it. Now that means that it's what? It's not what? Ready. It's not ready yet. Yes, exactly. No, it can still eat. Now, it might be ready. We'll see. But it's probably not ripe yet, so we'll, we'll, we'll have to find out. Look at all these right here. Dude. Oh, uh, here's one. Wow. And here's one that's starting to come apart a little bit. Done the common part. A little bit, but see how dark that is? Mm -hmm. That probably means that it's rotten on the inside. In okay. fact, there may, may not even be hardly anything in there. Because once it rots away, a bug crawls in there and eats it up, right? Like the grubs that we found in them before. Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe we'll find some grubs in these. That'd be pretty oh, cool. And maybe this Sometimes, kids, there's little grub worms inside here that get planted in there. Uh, uh, insects, they lay eggs, and the grubs grow inside of it and they use the pecans for food to grow up and once they get big enough they climb out and they become whatever it is that they were. So the larva com becomes a fly or, a, or, or some kind of a, a, maybe a moth or something. All right. Look, this one was starting to come up, huh? Uh-huh, just a little bit. Yeah, you know, Bubba, these pecans, they don't look all that good. But we'll have to find out when we get home, right? Mm. Sometimes there's trees that maybe they didn't get enough oh, look, rain, look, or maybe they look. just don't have the nutrients they need to really produce pecans. Look. Let me see. It'll, it was already starting to come apart. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the one we oh, want, yeah. right there. And there's more pecan trees around here, so maybe we should go to another pecan tree and see if we can find one that's more productive, that has more pecans. Look, there's a pecan tree right there. Come on, kids. Let's look, go check this pecan look. tree out. Oh, oh wow, okay, wait, wait, stop. Okay, there's something over here that we have to be very careful of. Kids, come here. Whenever you're out in nature, you always have to look for certain types of plants, because some plants are good and some plants are poisonous. So Axel, here, you turn around and see this plant right here? Uh-huh. Do you see those three leaves right uh -huh. there? Three leaves that are in that shape, that's poison ivy. And if you get that on you, most people are very allergic to poison ivy, and some people are more, and some people are less allergic, but it can be very bad. It gets really itchy, it starts pussing, so you have to be careful with plants. So look at that really quickly, and take a mental picture of it. Take a picture in your mind, so you can remember next time, if you're around some plants like this, not to touch them, because you don't want to get their oil well, on you. What if you touch them too fast? Uh, even too fast, depending on how allergic you are. Daddy is very allergic. If I were to just brush my arm across here, the oils would get off onto my arm and they would get all itchy and I would start itching like this. Ah! And I wouldn't like it, not one bit. So Daddy stays away from poison ivy. It's all over right here. Look at that. It's even growing up that tree right there. 
So you kids, this make sure to look for plants thing. like this. That's poison ivy, and something. you don't want to touch it. You see some guns way up there? Uh-huh, look, this is poison ivy right here. Look at that. It's just growing right off the tree. That is some powerful poison oh, ivy. Oh, look, look, some berries, some berries. Uh, well, that's the seeds for the, for the uh, poison ivy tree. See, the seeds fall down from there, and they land right here, and then they grow all these little poison ivy plants. Man, let's stay away from here. I do not want to get poison ivy on me. Oh, there's another pecan one. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Let's see if anything fell right here. From the looks of it, that other pecan tree had more. The grass is always greener on the other side, and it looks like we fell for it. Oh, look. There's another one of those. Okay. Let's go back, kids, and we're going to get some more of those pecans from that other tree. And then we're going to go home and crack them open. Come on. And the both of these. Mm-hmm. Let's go over here. I'll race you there. You ready? All right, are you ready? Let's race them along the water ready? and over to there. Go! go. Mm -hmm. It out of the water mm -hmm. and... Look out. Okay, look out for these cars because they're injured. <laughs> find the most pecans in 30 seconds, okay? No. In how many seconds? Nine minutes. Nine minutes? <laughs> Nine minutes. Okay, well we don't have that long, but we'll see who can find the most pecans until we leave, okay? Ready, steady, go. Go, go, go. Found one. Found one. Nice. Found one, look. Oh, this one looks good. Oh, that's mm -hmm. one. Oh, that one looks good too. Okay, put them in the bag. There you go. I'm gonna leave the bag right here, and we'll just toss them in there. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Here's a pecan right here. Got one. Oh, this one looks nice. good. Look. Look, this one looks good. Let me see. Ooh, that one does look good. Yeah. <laughs> that one looks good. Yeah, that does look good. Okay. So let's go back and let's crack them open so that we can see what's inside. Bye, ready? kids. Bye, kids. We'll see you back at the house, okay? All right, kids. We're back and we're about to crack open these pecans and see if there's anything good in them. Are you ready, Bubba? Let's show the kids. Do you want to crack one of these open first and show the kids what that is? Mm -hmm. We're not sure what this is. It looks like it might maybe be a Maybe they'll lick one of these. Maybe. We'll, we'll, mm -hmm. You kids, no. maybe you guys can have a taste. All right. There we go. Nothing good. And look at that. Look how it's all dark right there. You want to lick? You know what that means? You want to lick it? No, I don't want to lick it. And no. I don't think the kids lick it either. Kids, you probably shouldn't lick anything that you don't know whether it's poisonous or not. We know pecans aren't poisonous, right? Uh-huh. So it's okay if we eat what's inside and of them. And the we kids know that pecans are poisonous. Are not poisonous, right? But we don't know what this is, so we don't want to eat it because we're not sure if it's poisonous or not, or if it can make you sick. Which one is not is poisonous? Oh, all right. Look at that. It is, is some it? kind of nut. It's pretty much destroyed, <laughs> but it looks like it's similar to a walnut. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. But we don't know, and it's definitely not ripe. We don't want to eat it. So maybe we'll look up later and see what a walnut looks like, and maybe it'll look like this. We'll see. So let's get to cracking these pecans. Well, kids, they make special pecan crackers, but we don't have that, so we're just using a but rubber hammer. But what if we buy some? Maybe we should buy one. In fact, if we start finding some good pecans, maybe we'll want to buy one so we can make some really good uh, pecan cracking apples. Oh, that one's not good. See that, kids? Let's show the kids. <coughs> well, here, we'll show them another one if it's not good. <gasps> oh, look at this. This one looks like it might be good. See how this smushes it? A pecan cracker really wouldn't smush it. Let's have a taste of that. See how it tastes. You taste that piece, I'll taste this one. How does it taste? Mm -hmm. Not really. Mm -hmm. It tastes good? Uh -huh. But you know what, Daddy can tell it's not quite ripe. You know why? But it's pretty good. Because it's still really, it's still really, uh, it doesn't have that flavor that pecans typically have good. whenever they're ripe, and and it's still really, really juicy. Um, so I think it wasn't quite ripe yet. I think that's what it was. But it's still mm -hmm. pretty good. It was still pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You probably wouldn't eat a whole bunch of them though. Let's try another one. Look at that one. Oh. 
Same thing. See how it's it usually pecans when they're ripe. Let me kids. have it. Let me have it. Oh yeah. Soon. Let's show the kids though. They're let usually kind of brown it. on the outside, and that's still kind uh -huh. of a lighter color. Uh -huh. uh, and that's what it looks off. like when it's off. Mm-hmm. All right. Crack open another one. Same thing. You know what, Axel? What? Daddy is going to use logic, and I'm going to to guess that we're not going to find very many good pecans here because it looks like it's just not that season. But some but trees we're may be find actually in, uh, but ready we're, to produce. But we're going to find some pecans because we've already got so uh, many. we got a ton to crack, kids, so we're just going to keep cracking them just for fun, even if we don't find any that are good to eat. Nope, that one's not good yet. Oh my goodness, look at this one, kids. Oh, look at this one. That might be good, yeah, look at that. Look, does it have a little bit of a golden brown on the outside? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a try, taste it. Taste. No, that's pretty good. Mm hmm Mmm, I wanna find more of those. Now kids, look at this one. This one right here, see that? See how it's all black on the inside? It's really dried out. There's a little bit of a con, but it's only like the skin of the pecan that's on there. Well, that's because this one's probably been sitting there since last year, a whole year. And that gave it lots of time for, for it to rot out like that. So that one's definitely not good. All right, let's see. Oh, look. I think this that one. one. right there. This one looks good. See that golden color on the outside? Can that means it's pretty it? good. Sure. Uh, I love pecans. And pecans are really good for you, kids. Mm -hmm. Really good for you. If you live in an area where pecans are, uh, right around uh, September, October, um, November is when they're uh, in season. All right. What's, is it March? No, it's not March. Is it April? No. Isn't it November? <laughs> it's, it's October. October. Mm, look here, have a bite of that one. Look. look at that. That looks delicious. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, yummy. Okay, let's keep cracking here. Watch. I'm gonna. Oof, I'm gonna be efficient. Busy. It's all rotten. I'm gonna be efficient, and I'm gonna crack three pecans at once. Do you think it'll work? Let's give it a try. Okay. Look at that. Three at once. And my goodness, they're all bad. Look at, oh, this one. This one looks like something ate it. Huh, it must have been one of those grubs. See that, it looks kind of fresh still. It's still got that golden color, but it's empty on the inside. Something probably ate it out. You know, kids, there's something called a pecan weevil, and it lays its larva inside these pecans. You can tell most of the time because it has a little hole on the outside. But once you see the hole, the larva's already gone. That means it ate its way out. I wonder if we'll find any. All right, kids, look at that. And that, this one might be here. Uh, that is, a, it's, it's a larva. Can you say larva? Larva. It is the larva of a pecan weevil, is what they call it. It's a, it's Can a, I hold it's, it? Yes, a pecan weevil is a little beetle. And that beetle, um, it comes from the larva. Which came first, the larva or the beetle? We don't know. <laughs> but anyways, this little guy, did you know he's got such powerful jaws that he can eat out, uh, he can eat itself out of the shell. He chews on that and for I a can long time and eats itself out. And they can bite me. <gasps> Is that cool? Are you gonna feed that to the chickens? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, look at all these. Oh my goodness, kids, we have chickens here. At, we're, are we at Graham Graham's house? We're mm -hmm. at our Graham Graham's house, and, and we have chickens here, and they love little bugs like this. They're very healthy for them. So we're gonna collect them over here. Let's set them right there, and let's collect a bunch of them, and then we'll feed them to the chickens. All right, you does that sound like fun? Drug them around? Mm-hmm. Little snuggler. Yeah. Hey, kids, let me explain to you real quick what happens. They're, Guess, maybe actually, they're friends. Do you know how they get into the pecan? How? I'll tell you. There's a little beetle, and whenever the pecan looks like this, except it's a baby, the beetle gets his little snout and goes and burrows his snout in there, and he laid his, his little larva egg inside of the pecan. And guess what? When the larva grows up, guess what? It has food. It look, has food, kids, look, on the look, inside look, of the pecan. Look, look. 
The oh. ant's carrying a piece of a pecan. He is. These ants are on it, man. They're, they're, that was probably a scout ant. He's bringing it back to his colony. So anyways, then the larva grows up, and then it eats its way out of the pecan shell. And then it burrows in the ground and turns into a weevil. And then the weevil, whenever it comes around September, it burrows out of the ground, climbs up the pecan tree, and lays another egg in the pecan tree. It does it over and over again. It repeats the process. That's how they survive. All right, let's keep cracking the seed. All right, kids, we'll see you in just a minute. We're going to see if we can find more weevils, and then we're going to feed them to the chickens. All right. Oh, look. See, that one's definitely good. They're all getting the wagon. Axel, can you imagine if you were born inside of a pecan? Would you eat it? But would you eat it for food if, was, if you were born in a pecan? What, oh, oh, I found oh. three. Oh, my one goodness. One pecan. Look at that. Three and one Wow-y. pecan. Wow. What a find. Those chickens are going to be happy. Man, very nutritious, right? They ate the pecans that had the nutrition, and now the nutrition is inside of them. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, kids, look at all those grubs. Woo! These are going to be some happy chickens. Man. And the chickens lay eggs, and then we eat the eggs. It's just the process. It all, everything works out like that, and it's all good. All right, here we go. But it's good. we got some pecans. Yes, we did get some pecans. But kids, even though we didn't get a lot of good pecans out of that, we still get to have fun, right? Because there's grubs. <laughs> All right. Guys, look. Ow. Look. Ow, they're biting me. Yeah, that's a patch. They got to have strong little chompers to break out of that pecan shell, right? All right, Axel, come on this way. Let's go feed them. There's Zsa Come on over here, Axel. There you go. Ah, there you go. Oh, <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> they love these grubs. There you go. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Man. Our animal's there really cool, Bubba. Oh. And some Let animals. Me have one. There you go. Oh. Some animals eat other animals. But did you know what's interesting, Axel? What? Is that everything you eat is alive. Even if even if you cook something, it's still alive. Even if you eat plants, they're still alive. And we need to have a respect for Daddy, everything that's alive, right? Daddy, what if we right? tasted a grub? Here, feed them last one. All right, kids, there's the last one. <laughs> oh, there's no more grubs. But we got happy chickens, right? <laughs> but we got happy chickens. Yeah. <laughs> Will they let you hold them? Yeah. With sweet kindness. He's pecking at the camera. <laughs> uh oh. All right, well, let's say bye to the kids, okay? Gentle, gentle, gentle. All right, kids. Well, did you guys have fun today? We had so much fun. And next time, we're going to find bye, some good kids. pecans. Bye. And we're going to find some good pecans. No, 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 no. Oh, bye, kids. Oh, bye, kids. <laughs> See you on another show, and we're going to show you how you get really good pecans that you can actually eat a lot of. Yeah. See you later. Get out. Have your own adventure, kids. If you guys know of some pecan trees around your neighborhood, ask your parents if you can go there and see if you can pick pecans.